Hi everyone, I'm recording this on June 19th, 2020, uh, three months into the lockdown for COVID-19 here in Washington State. I'm in King County where we're still in phase two of reopening. Um, I thought I'd share some life lessons I've learned in three months um, that I hope we can make use of um, in the post-COVID-19 world. Um, Back in March, when we when I first learned that hundreds of people were dying in various cities uh, around the world, especially New York City, which uh, at the peak, I remember the statistics were that every five minutes somebody was dying uh, with some kind of COVID-related problem. Um, I got to point out that um, dying with COVID in your system is a very different concept from dying of COVID. And a lot of people seem to think that every five minutes somebody died who tested positive for COVID. Oh my God, COVID is killing somebody every five minutes. I got to disagree with that concept. Um, another thing is that when you're closing down the funeral homes and you're letting bodies uh, pile up, of course you're going to have lots of bodies lining the streets, scaring people. But it was still a scary concept for me. And it made me realize that we could all die at a moment's notice without warning, and nobody really gets to choose when and where they die. And it made me realize that, oh my God, if I died today, um, I, at the time I was living in my car, my car was a mess, I had a lot of clutter on my hands, I had a lot of unfinished stuff that I needed to do. It made me realize that there's no guarantee that I could live another five minutes, and I, you know, maybe I should clean up my car and, um, and, um, uh, I, eventually, I moved into an apartment because everything was locked down. Maybe keep my apartment clean, get rid of a lot of clutter. And for the first time in my life, uh, I threw away most of the clutter in my life, got donated it, uh, th threw, threw the trash out, and uh, I felt so good because I realized that if I go to sleep and I never wake up, I won't be embarrassed about how, I, how I'm remembered as. It made me realize that we can never choose um, how we, when and where and, and who we leave the earth with when we, when we do depart. And we should always be ready to depart. And it, it's been on my mind, you know, do I want to be remembered like this? Uh, every day that I get to live, I, 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 I stop and think when I go to sleep, do I want to be remembered like this if I never wake up? And it, it's brought it to, 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 to the forefront of my uh, thoughts. Okay, um... Lately, um, a lot of people have had to take precautions, right? Social distancing, putting on a mask, putting on gloves, using hand sanitizer, and um, uh, planning our trips to minimize travel and all that, right? Uh, that's for everybody, right, these last three months, right? But a lot of people have hidden disabilities, and they need to take precautions that a lot of other people don't. And, um, for example, I suffer from eczema, and I have high-functioning autism, and there are certain foods I need to avoid. Some of them I get a very bad reaction to in terms of eczema. Some of them aggravate my autism, and to top it off, I have an addictive personality. So some of the foods that I should avoid for my autism, I completely avoid. But you cannot imagine the, the torment and the harassment uh, that people like me face when we go out and, and we say, I'm sorry, I can't have, I, 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 uh, you know, I'm happy that you prepared this uh, for me, but I, I really cannot have it. Thank you very much. And maybe, maybe I'll marvel at the artwork. I especially love playing with my camera, as you can see. Uh, I make a lot of YouTube videos. Sometimes I'll take some photographs. Uh, but people hound me like crazy. And uh, I can understand it if somebody put effort into it. Uh, especially if they prepared it just for me. I can understand that. But if you're preparing it for an office party, or better yet, if you bought it at the store, I mean, how does me not eating something you prepared uh, bother you? It's not like you can feel my taste buds, right? Oh, I can never understand that. I hope with the advent of COVID, now that people have to take precautions, and we, we never laugh at somebody for putting on a mask, or for practicing social distancing. I hope we can extend that to our friends with disabilities who need to take precautions that maybe we don't have to take, right? Uh, for example, right now um, at the local grocery store, they put aside a few hours for people with disabilities or the elderly because of all this COVID, right? But I hope we recognize that some of those people also have other precautions they have to take aside from social distancing, right? 
Another thing I hope we learn is that we, we learn the concept that we have a little bit of a social responsibility to take good care of our health, right? When we get sick, uh, it, it's, it has negative externalities, right? It's not just we are sick, we could also spread it to other people, right? I talked about in another video how I'm really disappointed how in the United States we think it's perfectly acceptable to go to work when we are sick. On top of that, a lot of people don't take care of their immune systems, right? They think it's okay to drink soda every day. Um, and um, we talk about how we're being inconsiderate by hanging out within six feet of other people, but nobody gives a thought to the idea of poisoning your immune system to the extent where you become a vector for disease, right? Um, I think one of the reasons that um, my family's from Taiwan. Um, Taiwan is obviously much more connected with China. Lots of people travel back and forth, especially compared to the U.S., right? But they had a much better outcome, and um, in Taiwan, people live their lives a lot healthier, right? When I go to a restaurant in Taiwan, it's very easy for me to, 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 to find out the ingredients and to avoid troublesome ingredients for myself. When I go to a restaurant here in the United States, people don't know, they don't care, that they think I have a problem for wanting to avoid these ingredients, they laugh at me. Um, we just don't put health as a very high priority in the U.S., right? I'm not saying we should ban certain foods. I mean, let's face it, in the U.S., we didn't ban people from coming within six feet of other people, right? We didn't really ban people from not wearing a mask, right? I mean, uh, but we put a lot of social pressure on it, right? If you go out and don't wear a mask or you, you, you disregard social distancing, uh, pretty soon you're going to have a lot of funny faces, right? And I, th I hope the idea of taking good care of your immune system and not going to work sick can be like that, right? I don't want to see uh, laws against it or anything like that, but I hope we can understand that it's a little bit of a social responsibility, right? Another thing I like about... Um, COVID-19 is that it makes it makes us realize that we don't need so many pointless meetings at work, right? Uh, I can think of so many times where we go to work and it, there's just hours of pointless meetings when it, it was really only five minutes worth of effort to develop something, right? Uh, I work with uh, software and that happens a lot, right? There's a lot of pointless meetings when we should really cut to the chase, right? And um, I'm a bit, I, I have a bit of a weakness with negotiations because of that same problem. I love to cut to the chase. I see something I want to buy on Craigslist. I see a gig I want to do on Craigslist. I don't want to waste two hours negotiating what should be a 30-minute gig, right? What I really hate on Craigslist is somebody needs help with moving, right? Or they need, um, they need to study for an exam next week. I do a lot of tutoring on Craigslist, right? and they offer X dollars an hour, right? And so the more time you can waste on that gig, the, 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 the more you could potentially make, right? Assuming they hire you, right? Um, I think that's a big problem, right? Sometimes I have so much experience with what I'm doing that I end up spending fewer hours, right? And then I gotta haggle with them to explain why my hours are worth more. It, ju it just feels like a waste. Um, I recently um, went um, uh, shopping for a car and nowadays, a lot of places advertise haggle-free pricing. Right? I really love that. At the end of the day, like I mentioned in my very first uh, item on my wish list, we never know when, our, when, when we're living our last hour. And to, to be remembered as the guy who haggles, I don't want to be remembered like that. I don't want to waste.